The Crimson Days event is now live, and it is a weekly reset, so we're going to go over everything that's available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, the Crimson Days event is now live. And if you guys want to know everything that this event has to offer, then I will put a link in an annotation at the top right of the screen right now. That way, you guys can go ahead and check it out. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of March 2019, then click on our link in the description box below for your chance to win. As for the challenges, we have one milestone for this week. And that is Welcome to Crimson Days, which we need to speak to Shaxx in the Tower. Then we need to complete 20 bounties of any type, as well as earn 5,000 XP for your clan. And then uh, create two weapon frames in the forges. As for the Vanguard, we need to complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Solar Singe, Glass, as well as Brawler. And then for the Nightfall, we need to complete a Nightfall and complete a Nightfall with 100,000 points or more. Nightfalls for this week are the Pyramidian, Tree of Probabilities, as well as the Will of the Thousands. Coming down to Gambit, we need to complete three Gambit matches. As for Crucible, the Crucible mode of the week is Crimson Doubles, even though it says Crimson Days. And we need to complete five Crucible matches of any type, except for Private Match. And the Tangled Shore, we have your Flashpoint. And we complete this by doing Public Events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the Heroic version of the Public event, you can get this done a lot quicker. Then we have the uh, Hangman for one of your Heroic Adventures. Coming to the Dreaming City. Petra Venge is in the Devalian Mists, and you need to complete two of her weekly bounties. So, let's see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. Always good to see you, Guardian. Starting off with the uh, Prismatic Matrix, we have this wonderful emote. Then we have the Tangled Paladin, which is the ornament for the Black Talon. Looks pretty cool. Then we have Boots for the Hunter. This comes with Dynamo, uh, Rifle Dexterity, Arrow Scavenger, as well as Primary Ammo Finder. Then we have a Titan Class Armor. This comes with uh, Machine Gun Reserves, as well as Pulse Rifle Scavenger. Then we have a Warlock class item. This comes with Machine Gun Reserves, as well as Pulse Rifle Scavenger. We have a Ghost. And then we have Salt in the Fields, which is the ornament for the Pillager. Looks pretty badass. Then we have a Vehicle. Then we have the Lost Sector Projection, as well as the Lost Treasure Projection. Coming down to the Crimson Engrams. Everything that you had last year for Crimson Days will be here for this year, but they also added a couple new things. So, we have all the weapons, oh, I'm sorry, all the weapon ornaments, Prism, Go about your business and uh, Karina Nebula, which I happen to think is the best ornament for the Graviton Lance. All your ghosts and emotes. All the sparrows. And then all the shaders and mods. We also have a Love Struck Bundle, which costs 1100 silver. 
This will give you the tiny bow emote. Five Crimson Passion Shaders, as well as a Fire Team Medallion. Then we also have the Dress to Thrill Bundle for 500 uh, silver. And this comes with the Shot Through the Heart Ornament for the Vow, as well as two Fire Team Medallions. Then we have your regular Etched Engrams, and then the Forger's Ignition Bundle. As for the stuff of the week, we have the dual emote. The Zeus-like physique. Sparrow. Another Sparrow. Ship. Another ship. Ghost. And this comes with Treasure Hunter, Omni Telemetry, and one random mod. Wise Owl Projection. Uh, Hunter Cloak. Comes with uh, submachine gun reserves as well as pulse rifle scavenger. Blind Faith, which is the ornament for the trust. The Laconic, which is the ornament for the last word. A uh, transmat effect. Another transmat effect. Shaders. And then last but not least, we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, of the Crucible, as well as your Fire Team Medallion. So in order to participate in Crimson Days, you definitely need to go ahead and talk to Lord Shax. He'll give you this emblem, and I obviously have no space. And then you can take part in all of this wonderfulness that he has to offer. So let's see, we have the uh, Terra Stella Shell, the Ghost Shell, the Undeterred um, Sparrow, the Vow that comes at 650 if you have Forsaken. Uh, Diesel Punk Ornament, which is the ornament for the Wordcliff Coil. Flaunting Dance, which is an emote, as well as the Warm Hearted Gift. And this gives you a chance to get Enhancement Cores, Mods, Weapons, Gear, and Resources. And you get all of these by earning Confectionary Hearts. So, later on today at 9pm Eastern Standard Time, I will be streaming and I will be streaming the wonderful um, Crimson Days event. So if you guys want to check that out, you can check it out at twitch.tv forward slash guardian underscore watcher. And I definitely will see you guys there later on tonight. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.